Both qualitative and quantitative studies collect data. However, the data collection method differs along with the type of information it is recording. Quantitative studies gather numerical data through experiments, surveys, questionnaires, databases, and more. It is looking for the numbers. While qualitative research focuses on interpreting non-numerical data from interviews, case studies, observations, personal accounts, diaries, and various documents, it's looking for the meaning or one's motivation or maybe the perspective of a group of people. A researcher who needs the hard numbers for statistical analysis will pursue quantitative research. They can use the numerical data to find cause and effect relationships between two variables or use the data to create a table to add meaning to the numbers. An example of a quantitative study would be if a researcher asks people to rank their anxiety levels on their first day of a new job or if the researcher is going to examine statistical information from, say, census records or from the EPA. This type of research works well when studying a larger group of people or an area. However, researchers do have to be careful to ensure that they are not influencing the findings by how they word a questionnaire or how they may lead a person on in an interview to answer in a specific way. Or finally, they have to ensure that they do not bring in their own personal bias when examining the data. Social scientists like psychologists and sociologists have used qualitative research since the inception of their field of study. It assists by allowing the researcher to investigate people's behaviors, interactions, and in some ways, what they're even thinking. Quantitative research can show that historically women are paid less than their male counterpart. However, a qualitative study can go beyond that and show the impact of this, especially in single parent households where there is only a mother making an income. With certain forms of research, one can find the meaning behind actions or see people in their everyday lives. Most studies are by direct observation, case studies, interviews, open-ended surveys, participant observations, ethnographic observations, and more. Although the research method is more open than a quantitative study, the results are more subjective. To summarize, quantitative studies are looking at the numbers, while qualitative is trying to find the meaning behind it all. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.